it has become a tradition in my channel like every saturday there is a newsletter from my mind box to yours and also one food illustration like previous week i remember illustrating magnum ice cream and before that i think it may be donuts or something so moving forward our channel will have a new set of illustration every week on saturday uh, we will paint some kind of food or a sweet or anything uh, eatables okay like some chili some pepper some tomatoes so if you have any recommendation you can definitely pass on through me through instagram or comment down below this video so we are painting a very cute egg cupcake with a pink frosting and some sprinkle even if you're old you always enjoy eating a good amount of cupcake so i have started my illustration with resolution of 2080 into 2860 and i started with a rough sketch because i want to know different set of uh, color in it because we are going to have a cupcake the cake layer and then we're going to have a wrapper that is the cupcake uh, layer where we are going to paint with a different color and also the frosting layer so now we are currently in the cake layer so i'm going to start with the shade of the base color by adding three shade of brownish from dark to light shade and then i'm using flow airbrush to add those realistic bread kind of look here so by painting the edge in little darker of brown shade color and then little brighter shade at the edge on the left and then light yellow in the middle as a reflection of light once then i have added a new layer to add those cupcake fillers so i'm just going to add some curve and some zigzag to make it look like cupcake of course this layer will be deleted in future because i'm just adding this as a reference to add the color in the cupcake filler so hope that makes sense and in future we are just going to delete this entire outline whatever we are doing here once we are done adding i'm going to add a new layer and by keeping the symmetry on i'm going to fill it with two shade one is yellow and one is pink and then i'm just going to blend it using blending brush the entire illustration is in 4x speed so make sure to use your sweet time because for me the entire illustration took around half an hour we could do it much earlier because i have never illustrated any cupcake in sketchbook so this was first time for me and i kind of enjoyed hope you will also enjoy this illustration once i'm done roughly blending it i'm using flow airbrush to add those curvy edges in our cupcake filler and i'm using the lighter shade here to make it look like a more of a cupcake filler itself and now like i said i have deleted the existing layer i'm going to use some darker brown shade here with the help of flow airbrush i'm going to slowly add those edge for the cupcake filler and then i'm going to add few more highlights in the cupcake filler itself and once i am happy about it i'm just going to move on to the next layer once we are done doing this highlight and the shadow for the cupcake we will be moving forward to the frosting and at the end i realized it is much simple to draw because in the beginning i felt like okay we are going to have at least five or six layer of illustration but once i started illustrating i kind of enjoyed this entire illustration and i enjoy uh, the entire end part of it because you're going to add sprinkle and i thought oh this is what our life looked like it may be much complicated in the beginning by the end we come to a complete completion of a project or a work timeline or whatever we are building in we kind of actually understand the process and once we achieve that we feel like oh it was so much simpler why didn't we figure out earlier but that's not the scenario in every case sometimes you have to let go many things but at the same time you can be your own version and do the best by understanding how anything works like here i'm just going to use blending brush to slowly blend and then we are into a new layer for the frosting layer for the frosting layer i went in a very simple form like here three kind of a half circle and then slowly giving it edge um building up together i'm using level pen level at the top toolbar to make give me those curvy structure without worrying about any of the roughness in the frosting and then i'm going to use flow airbrush to add the shadow highlight and everything this kind of brought the entire frosting to life i didn't use any blending brush for frosting at all and i realized how easy it is because when i was looking for inspiration in pen interest i came across this image i'm like oh my gosh i have to do so much blending what if i don't get the result which i'm looking in for once as 
started using Flora brush, I realized, oh my gosh, this is what I actually want. And I was super happy by the time I finished illustrating. And I thought you guys will definitely enjoy illustrating this because this is such a sweet illustration. And also, if you have anybody's birthday coming up, you can just illustrate this and write happy birthday and share it for them through WhatsApp. Or you can actually print out a card as well. Now we are adding the shade for the cupcake and then I have added a new layer. If you look on the right side, there will be multiple layer for this cupcake. So make sure to add as many layer as you want because this is not going to be simple. Now we are into adding those frosting, which is going to add, adding the adding the sprinkle in the frosting. And then I'm just using fountain pen and I'm adding different color of sprinkle here. Of course, we can add any cherry or strawberry or any other thing, but I feel like classic is always classic. The pink frosting with some sprinkle of course i love it and i now since i have finished illustrating i feel like i should actually have a cupcake and i should not worry much about sugar intake glucose spike level what all this youtube teaches us okay now we are done i'm just using blending brush to slowly blend across the edges of the frosting to make it look like a little more painty-ish rather than just a vector image here because our cupcake filler and the cupcake the cake itself is like eye painting but the frosting look more of a realism here so i'm just going to slowly smudge the edge to make it look like a part of a painting even though we did paint by ourselves once we are done doing all the blending all the extra work here by using a razor to erase if there is extra flow uh bleed of our flow airbrush once we are done we are going to make this image as a center image and add some highlight into the wall so i'm just going to uh, give a color to our background rather than white which will make more understanding and then we are just going to slowly blend across so now that I have added a shadow to the cupcake, I'm going to use our wash brush to slowly blend it across. Also, you can just copy paste the cupcake layer and then just add a black color to the entire layer and then reduce the opacity. With the help of Distort, you can actually get the shadow itself because I feel like I feel like adding this make it extra sense and it kind of bring the entire image to life so i'm just changing the background color like i said i'll be doing a shadow for our cupcake so i have increased the size of the cupcake and then i'm going to copy paste and add a fill of black color and then i'm going to slowly make some distort changes to make it look like a shadow hope you guys have enjoyed this illustration like share and comment to all your cupcake friends if you're a desert person definitely you can make it for your friend on their birthday and share a sweet gift card or happy birthday card to them and also let me know in the comment which type of illustration are you looking for next saturday comment on which food i should illustrate i'll be happy to do that and also if you have not yet subscribed to your newsletter please go ahead and subscribe because there is a new newsletter of this week currently running in my substack see you all tomorrow in our weekly podcast till then take care bye bye have a great life